There is a growing movement of people that are really interested in recontextualizing education in our country, both social and emotional and academic development. Some of the core elements that we have here at Valor are practices that push and develop all of us to grow. So Compass Camp is an evolution of Valor's goal to really share the work that we're doing. At Valor, we focus on a social-emotional learning program that gives our kids the necessary character strengths. We use a model called the Compass. The Compass has different dimensions sharp mind, big heart, noble purpose, and aligned actions. Essentially, we are working to develop all of those dimensions in our kids and in our adults. It starts with the basic understanding that we all as humans have a lot of social and emotional growth to do by doing a lot of this work. We believe that that's gonna drive them to incredible academic success. So Compass Camp is an opportunity to share the work that we're doing. Today, I'm in Tennessee to learn a lot more about social and emotional learning, the activation and the full implementation of circles with adults and kids alike. This year, we got some feedback where students really felt like they didn't build relationships with their teachers as much. And so we had come here today to think about how we could restructure our advisory program. So our Valor Compass is our primary guiding metaphor. Today we have leaders from 14 different school networks across the country, and we are going to introduce them to our Compass framework, our phase work, and our circle process with the hope that we can spread the practice in a meaningful way. So we chose the metaphor of the Compass because we really liked the concept that it's a way of finding our way in the world. Our participants get a brief overview of our model. Working the compass really means pursuit of excellence in every dimension. That's something we hold ourselves to. That's something we hold our kids to. Can you tell us a little bit about your business? And then we have them observe one of our faculty circles. I just want to appreciate you for the work that you do, oftentimes behind the scenes. So sure they feel the emotional vulnerability that's required and the level of trust in the types of relationships that have developed here as a result of that practice. In your packet, we actually want you to do some circle phase work. We then send them home with the type of phase work that both our scholars do and our adults do. And so in the packets, there's reflections and guided questions. One example is an exercise called, If You Really Knew Me. That's a sentence starter, and you really kind of fill in as much as you're comfortable sharing who you are with the circle. In the morning, we tour scholar circles, so they observe a boys' circle and a girls' circle. I want to appreciate you because you show a lot of kindness and you have a really big heart. And then they actually participate in the circle themselves. Just take a few moments to concentrate and connect with your breath. Every circle will start with a mindfulness-based practice for everybody in the circle to really focus their attention and then it moves into a check-in. So I'm gonna ask you to think of one feeling word. Which is a ritualized process for getting everybody's voice in the room. I'm feeling elated. I'm feeling grateful today. I'm feeling relaxed. And then some brave souls will do some work in the circle and get to experience it firsthand. As you, what are you proud of? Circle today was a little bit intimidating. I'm proud of the type of work that I do uh, with kids. I participated in the exercise called A Thousand Questions. I'm proud of my two little girls. No matter how much time it took you, you were on the spot and you needed to think of what you were proud of. It really made you dig deep. And it was a cool experience to think about what I was proud of. So we'll move into appreciations next. This is one of the final parts of Circle. And then we always end with appreciations. I really appreciate the work that you do. I appreciated your words of gratitude. I really appreciate your energy and the positive vibes that you gave to me today. Very kind. I'm definitely hoping to bring back, here's a structure for how to do a, a great circle. What will it do for our kids overall? 
After learning about circles and learning about the program, I strongly believe that it will provide that sense of community that we're looking for and allow students to have a really positive, deep relationship with an adult in the school. I'm deeply grateful and humbled that you all came from all over the country to be here. I think my biggest hope is that people recognize the value of relationships and growth. This needs to start with us, the adults in the building. And we as a country actually need to be relating with each other in different ways if we want to lead our kids.